what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i picked me up a new bandsaw here this is the milwaukee fuel deep cut bandsaw um, i'll put a link to it in the description if anybody's interested in something like this i bought the tool only uh, because i already had a battery for my impact wrench um, i will probably eventually upgrade and get some uh, better batteries or bigger batteries or whatever um, the saw comes with the uh, blade here that's the coarse tooth it's eight i think it's eight tooth uh, per inch blade i bought some 14 teeth i didn't know they made this eight tooth and how well it would do but i got this thing in last night and i'm working on restoring my dad's trailer here and all the reviews i've seen on this thing they were actually doing nothing but setting it up on a table and making like two or three cuts and uh you know they they actually whoever bought it or whoever got it sent to them didn't have an actual purpose for even having it, it didn't look like uh, at least according to the video but uh we're actually going to use this thing to complete a project here uh, what we got going on um, if you've seen the first video of the trailer project you already know but basically we've cut the top rail off of my dad's trailer here and i've got some two and seven eighths uh drill stem i was able to find some this stuff's hard to come by it's uh used pipe um basically it's 50 bucks a joint uh where i got it at and this was the last that they had and they said they wouldn't be getting any more so uh anyway it's, it's hard to come by for the two and seven eighths uh, size but anyway that's a lot cheaper probably save a thousand bucks in metal going with this old used pipe because that's what that trailer was built out of 30 years ago anyway um, we got some three by three by quarter angle iron back there and we're going to cut those up in 16 inch pieces and use them as uprights and put this top rail here on there and uh, because this trailer had a smaller diameter top rail on it um, and it kept breaking and stuff over the years so anyway this should solve all that problem I went ahead and made about three cuts last night uh, when I got this, it was dark, so I didn't try to do any filming or anything. But uh, the thing cuts really well, and uh, pretty impressed with that coarse blade right there. And I think I'm going to be ordering some more of those. Uh, like I say, I've only made three cuts with it, so I don't know how long it's going to hold up. But so far, it's looking like it's going to do pretty good. So uh, I've already got all this stuff marked out. Um, basically, we're putting some more cost members in it. Uh, when my dad built this about 30 years ago, uh, he spaced the cost members in the trailer pretty far apart because he didn't have a whole lot of pipe or a lot of money and uh, he was hauling you know like cars and stuff lighter and nowadays this trailer gets used to haul you know a little heavier stuff on and some scrap iron and stuff and so we've had problems with the uh, boards getting broke out and stuff so I'm going to put some more cross members in there as well so I'm going to whack this stuff off in 80 inch lengths and then cut two 18 foot sections and then the angle iron will be 16 inch pieces I'm actually going to be a piece or two short on the angle iron so anyway, let's get to cutting and let's try this thing out. I'm curious to know how many or how many cuts I can make on this stuff in the real world application. I actually having a job to do with it uh, on this one five amp hour battery. I've already made three cuts, as I say. So uh, I'll set you guys up over here and we'll see how it goes. So I've got a couple of different markings on this pipe here. Um, it's got some of it's got some bad spots in it where it's rusted through and whatnot. Um, as I say, it's old used pipe. And uh, so I had to remark it and try to get it where I could cut out the bad sections, if that makes sense. So uh, we're just going to start right here on this one get this out of the way. This one work. Now I got this on the high speed here. straight it's plenty straight enough for welding I mean and uh, I was debating on buying the corded version or the cordless version and I decided to go with the cordless because I figured it would work really well for uh, you know outside here this type of stuff I want to be able to you know come out here without having to drag extension cord out or uh, you know drag oxygen acetylene uh, hoses out with the torch and trying to do this and you know I can get this stuff in the shop 
but it's going to be a lot easier for me to just whack it up in short pieces like I need here and uh, then worry about getting in the shop. So that's what I decided to do. I'll bring you guys up a little bit closer so you can see here. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit better uh, angle closer up view for you guys. see this pipe full of rust and stuff and dirt and whatever That could have been straighter, but it's going to work. We're trying to pipe around, cut the other end off now. So that's six cuts on that battery so far. Seven cuts. Alrighty, see where I gotta cut these. These here are the longer sticks, the pieces I the find uh, the best pieces I wanted to make as a top rail because these short pieces I cut are just gonna be for the cross members. I need two more of those out of here, and then I got a couple more short pieces I gotta cut as well. I'm actually gonna have to slide this pipe here back. Um, and cut it back here because I'm cutting an 18 foot section off and then I have another cross member and then a short piece got off a little bit on the bottom down there maybe eight it ain't too big a deal though 
Okay, so I believe that was eight cuts so far. We gotta cut this piece here. This is gonna go on top of the rail here to tie into his hitch that he made up there. See that pipe is not the best in the world in some spots. But that's gonna work. Well, that's a short piece for there. This piece here is just a drop piece. And you see how thin that is and got right through. But this will be coped out and this will still work for a uh, for a cost member there because I say it's already got plenty in it. I uh, just want some additional support through there, so it'll be fine. is cut number 10. You see how thin that's done got right there where it's rusted through. That was a drop piece of scrap iron. But as I say I can cope that piece out right there. Still gonna be a little bit thin but it'll definitely work as a cross member. See, that's good and thick right there on that end. Alright, so we got to cut this other piece, one other piece over here. Two or three cuts still left on it.
first cut yet. We got off a pretty good bit on that one. I'm going to have to go back and straighten that up a little bit. Shut up with a grinder now, we'll be good. This end here is getting coked anyway, uh, so that's not real important. Cut number 12. This will be cut number 13. We'll cheat it just a hair long and make up for the crooked cut on the other end. blade is pretty aggressive but as you can see um, it cuts pretty good another thin spot on that pipe right there that'll work that's 14 cuts so far that's all the pipe cut start our angle iron now not really supposed to hold this in one hand but this is the real world and not the uh, you know perfect thing where somebody's just using this to make a uh, a cut in a shop where there's other alternatives this is a fill tool and i feel like this is real world use that somebody would use this for this is what i'm using it for well we're going to cut this like this because that's the way, you know, if you're cutting this out in the field, this is how an angle iron naturally wants to lay. It may not be the best way to cut it. This is how it's going to go. I got it marked. And uh, so I can see the line. We'll see how straight of a cut we get.
it's a little bit jerky there um, at first. As I say, that's a pretty coarse blade, but it seems to be working well. And so the idea behind this, this weld over here like this and support that top rail. I'll hold it here on the corner just so you can see. But uh, I've got to notch it. Um, it's going to turn a little different than this. It's actually going to be turned this way, I believe. But it'll be notched and uh, the pipe will sit in here, you know, down through the side of there like that. So that's the idea behind that. So that was, what, 15 cuts, I believe, 14 or 15 cuts, we'll say it was 15, I don't know. like the battery's getting a little bit weak. That's a good bit of cutting though. That blade may be just a bit aggressive for quarter inch angle iron, but it's cutting good. It's just a little jerky. It can be a little bit smoother, may make it easier to control, but I'm getting a pretty good, pretty, pretty smooth cut on there by cutting it this way. And this is the way you would kind of cut this in the field. I don't think that was about 17 cuts or so. That's 18. That was it. I could tell it was uh, it was slowing down and it was getting hard to control, like it was running out of power. So that was 18 and a piece of a cut there. 
if I hadn't had to go back and cut that little bit, I might would have made that 19th cut. So, let's get another battery and continue. Also, this thing does have a little LED light down here. Uh, so if you're cutting like at night, like I cut those pieces last night, you can actually see the line halfway decent. just a little bit aggressive I think but man that thing cuts good I mean you couldn't get that much straighter unless you had a you know a bandsaw in the shop or a chop saw or something I'd say so far I'm pretty impressed with it it seems to be a good tool I believe it's going to be very useful uh, also I didn't point this out but this shoe here slides up and down so that you can for cutting stuff like this it, it makes it easier to get it lined up and and everything um, it's kind of heavy it weighs about 15 pounds but uh, it's not bad it's kind of like holding a, a small chainsaw or something and uh, it cuts really good it cuts uh, that's probably the fastest way that you're going to be able to cut a piece of metal like this you know it's faster than a torch for sure time you figure your your cleanup and everything and uh, you know it's a lot faster than a saws or anything so I should, probably should have bought one of these a long time ago I usually use a, uh, a Metabo wheel on a grinder and do this but as thick as this is, I would have went through a whole lot of wheels and it would have took forever to cut this and probably broke several wheels with this stuff trying to uh, bind up and stuff, especially on the pipe or whatnot. And again, cutting it with a torch would have took forever as well. So anyway, decided to go ahead and make the investment, get one of these. Um, maybe I should have bought the one with the case and a couple extra batteries because I'm going to need some extra batteries anyway. But I figured I would kick that down the road, use these batteries for now, and then I will get some bigger batteries. Uh, and maybe another charger or something uh, in the future. But anyway, so far, great tool. Thanks for watching. See you guys next video.